continuing with our understanding of how important pricing is now we need to look at it from technology to technology perspective let's start with mobile first as we said earlier for certain developing countries and other regions where the wide widely deployed uh, utp and cable modem is not uh, cable technology is not there it is important to first of all understand what are the implications of mobile technology as such and how can pricing be instrumental in determining its deployment so mobile broadband as we said earlier is the primary driver for development of different telecommunication services nationwide we saw in 2013 3g spectrum auctioning took place and i guess in 2014 uh, the spectrum auctioning also took place for 4g network 4g networks it means that particular time frame was spurred by the business activity uh, involving mobile broadband and we saw that the emergence of a new kind of society that involves a very dynamic environment with broadband access available to not only a certain segment of the society but a society at large where people from different uh, social strata have access to this uh, technology so it means that there is no denying to the fact that mobile technology is there for everyone to utilize now it all depends on what government can do and what pricing can play its role in ensuring that this mobile technology can be put most effectively to the national building first of all the primary circuit that runs on these mobile broadband is voice voice is the primary uh, reason for which people are using smartphones however there is a data package associated with every uh, user for every subscriber there is a provision of the uh, mobile video content that could include stored and streaming service such as the mobile tv as a streaming service um, voice over ip as live service and uh, youtube as the um, stored service then we have certain data services as well which are offered as different data plans now with this availability of data we see that only the end user applications now would essentially determine what the um, data is going to be used for for that the end user applications are then controlled by third parties so now we have another stakeholder that is involved into the loop now we see that they this could also be provided through the fixed broadband however the fixed broadband could be provided only in city areas in suburban and rural environments the mobile broadband services are there now we have a situation we have the mobile broadband service which is available to the rural and the urban areas however the business activity is mostly there in the urban areas now the government now has to come in it has to intervene and make sure that some compensation should be there for the telecom service providers to have the service in these remote areas with mobile technology the most important issue is wireless spectrum management as we know if we want to provide the data rate which uh, is equivalent to the data rate in wired networks we actually have to occupy a lot of spectrum for instance the uh, lte as in 4g uh, the mobile wire wimax uh, particularly released to demand a lot of bandwidth that is 100 mega uh, mega hertz bandwidth per user it actually implies that for a 5 gigahertz spectrum which is available to Uh, a service provider it is very hard to accommodate a lot of users so it means some kind of spectrum reusability also has to be taken into consideration while doing so the spectrum management also has to cater in for the reuse against different services it means 
not only for plain data packages some new business act aspects have also uh, need also be, to be explored for that some new third party players have to be taken on board as well another dimension which is quite different in mobile broadband which is different from fixed broadband is the unique characteristics of the mobile broad broadband which is nowhere to be found in fixed broadband for instance in mobile broadband since a certain subscriber identification module or sim is associated to an individual so the individual subscription means highly personalized communication so it also warrants some kind of intervention where the security aspects and the billing aspects have to be ensured right down to individual subscriber these subscribers are not constrained in terms of mobility and would demand the same level of service against their initially agreed service level agreement or contract wherever they go so it is again a big challenge for instance whether a user is on roaming or is in the native network um since the mobile broadband can't be tied up with a specific location so it means some kind of interlocation uh, barter mechanism has to be realized it means some tariff agreement has to be uh, realized between different locations whether these locations are managed by a single service provider or multiple service providers and then the mobile networks as such do not exist in isolation with fiber mobile convergence it is important to understand that part of the uh, traffic uh, is in the air on the wireless side and then as soon as a certain network element like a base transceiver or like e node b or home e node b is utilized then after that a certain level of core side communication takes place which is mostly on fiber so it means for the core communication there has to be some kind of model that translates the access side communication billing and tariff into a uh, core side billing and tariff and we'll talk about it in more detail in subsequent modules however there are two different um charging models by the government to ensure that whatever services are provided are actually provided under certain regulation and policy the one mentioned particularly in front of you is the ex ante model the ex ante model for individual customers becomes very complex because ex ante literally means the government enforces certain regulations to make sure that the individual interests are compromised in terms of collective interests so it means ex ante means it's a collective decision that involves the larger good so ex ante particular policy for retail customers is not very fruitful for the mobile broadband subscribers